welcome once more to my channel in this video we'll be explaining perfect squares and we'll be seeing how we can easily know what to add to an expression to make such a perfect square when we talk about a perfect square what are we talking about a perfect square can be referred to an algebraic or numeric expression that can be broken down into two equal factors for instance let's take example nine nine is a perfect square why because three times three will give us what nine four is also a perfect square why because two times two will give us what four so it's actually a numeric or algebraic expression that can be broken down into two equal what factor you can see these are factors of what of nine but they are what? They are equal. So when we have an expression like this, what we are having on the board, we can also determine what we can add to these algebraic terms to also give us what? To also become what? A perfect square. That is why we are having a question here that says, what must be added to each of the following to make a perfect square? A, we have y squared plus 12y, and then B, 2x squared minus 3x. Now, how do we do this? This is actually very, very simple. So please, you're going to watch this video to the end and see how you can easily do that because it's not difficult at all. Now, what are you expected to do? All you need to look for, all you need to do is to pay attention to what? To the coefficient of what? Of the term that you are looking for. And then the coefficient of the known here or the term here is what is x. So what is the coefficient of x? Not x squared, the coefficient of what? Of x. Now, in this case, we're looking for the word coefficient of what? Of y. However, before you pay attention to this, you must make sure that the coefficient of y square or x square or k square or whatever term that is used in the question is what is 1. If you look at the in this question here, the coefficient of y here is what is 1. In this case, the coefficient of x here is 2. You're going to see how we can do that. Now, what are the steps involved in adding any term to any given algebraic terms to make it a perfect square? First, Half the coefficient of what? Of x or of y. Half it will square it. After halving, you square it. Then after squaring, you add it to the expression. And that is what is expected of you to add to make such expression a perfect square. Now, let's demonstrate that. Now, write solution. Now, let's take the first one. A now. Y squared plus what? Plus 12y. Now, if you look at, remember what I said, if you look at the question of y squared here, it's already what? 1. So, we'll pay attention to the question of y. So, now, the question of y is what? 12. What is the rule? We are going to half it now. So, what do we do? We're going to half this. I'm going to half the question of the, that is what? 12 times 1 over 2. That will give us what? 6. Now, after halving it, what will I do now? We are going to square now. We're going to square 6. And now when I square 6, what will I get? 6 squared means what? 6 times 6, which is what? 36. So therefore, 36 added to this expression will make this a perfect square. That is y squared plus 12y plus what? Plus 36. And that is it. So 36 added to this expression, this expression will make it a perfect square. Now, let's look at the second one now, B now. Let's look at B now. 2x squared minus 3x. Now, in this case, look at x here, x squared here. The equation of x squared here is 2. So, what will I do? I have to first make sure that this is 1. And to do that, what will I do? I will have to divide both by what? By 2. That means this divide by 2. This divide, give me what? This divide by this will go. So, I have what? x squared minus 3 x over what over 2 so the question of x now becomes what minus 3 over 2 so again what we do now we are going to have square it and then add it to what today to this expression so that is what look at this now we're going to have we're going to have this and that means 1 over 2 times minus 3 over 2 and that is equal to what minus 3 over 4 now what will i do to this now we're going to square it now Going to square this, that means 1 of 3 over 4. Or squared. Now, squaring this, this is the same minus 3. Minus times minus is plus. 3 times 3, because this square means what? 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is what? It's 9. 
4 times 4, because this cross affected is what? Is 16. Therefore, I'm going to add what? 9 over 16 to this expression, to this expression to make it what? A perfect square. So just like equation say, what must be added to this to make it a perfect square? What is the answer? 9 over 16 will be added to this expression to make it a perfect square. So our expression that becomes, that becomes what? 2x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 16. You can decide, look at it, you don't have any common factor, there's no number that can divide them. So that is your answer. So that is what is expected of you. That is how you can easily add or solve questions like this because this question keeps on coming up. One more is added to it to make it a perfect question. That is it. Not difficult at all. Very simple. If you enjoyed this video, please, I encourage you to click the subscription button and endeavor to share our videos on all your social media platforms. And if you have not subscribed, please endeavor to subscribe and drop your comment in the comment section. We appreciate you so much. Bye-bye for now.